Yo, this Donatello. It's Diablo. And we on Breaking Records Podcast. Tune in, you heard. Facts. We here with Don and Pablo. Who is Don? Don is young Donatello, you feel me? The artist, the businessman, the creator, you feel me? Man, that nigga, bro, you feel me? I'm Pablo. Yeah, uh, so it's actually Yablo, you feel me? Um, Yablo, you feel me? He's from the Bronx, New York, you feel me? He's just, like I said, you know, businessman, artist, innovator, um, curator, all the, all the good stuff. We doing everything in-house, so we all of that. We businessmen, we artists, we all of that. Um, and yeah, it's just New York artists. We grinding. Facts. All right. See, I, I see you corrected me from Pablo, from Yablo. Facts. How you get that name? Um, The way I got that name, uh, there's like a... Um, damn, that's crazy. You know, heart. Should I explain that? Something. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my block, uh, there was a, there's a, a team, you feel me? Another music group that was called Y&R, and you feel me? Things that transpired, so I just kind of took my name. I took the Y from there, initial, um, Young and Rich, and I added it to my name, so to give it that symbolic feeling, you feel me? Uh, keep that, keep that lineage going. Definitely free to Y for sure. Right. And Dom, how you got your name? Like, Don is my real name, bro, you feel me? But my artist name, Donatello, like, I got that name, like, 2014, like, like, one day, like, I had another rap name before this, and, like, one of my mans, he was like, yo, bro, that shit not gonna work because somebody else got that name. So he was like, yo, you just gotta create, like, a stage name, like, some shit that got your real name in it, but it's, like, familiar to people. Like, they heard that before. And I ain't never heard a rapper with the name Donatello, so I just took that shit, ran with that shit. Changed that shit to my grand, like, 10 years ago, something like that, and then it stuck after that shit. Uh, so, yeah, I'm the group, uh, group, what's your group name? It's since I'm not Y&R anymore. What's y'all part of Y&R? Or? Uh, definitely uh, a, f- a family. family. A f- yeah, it's, it's all a family, you if feel you me? That's what it know. is. Uh, on a music level, it's, it changed over to something different. Um, Cause it's, it's actually me and him are together on the music, so it's levels and lanes entertainment. And as yeah. we're not really a group in a sense, we we just two individual artists. You know, we obviously complement each other really well, but we under the same branch more or less. Which is levels and lanes. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And this is really my man's like you yeah, know, that's the ten name years of the brand, plus, levels so, yeah. and lanes. Uh, and how did that brand get started? Me and bro, like one day, well, not even just one day. Like we been had like plans of like creating businesses and, and getting into music and fashion and or all it's just like shit. middle school type but we vibes. didn't really know how we was gonna do it like so around like 2015 like when we really started recording music and shit we was like all right we're gonna decide like we're gonna decide a name we're gonna decide like what we're gonna do with it production company clothing everything like into one that's why it's just entertainment is not just music like right. we do all type of shit and that's what and not to cut you off but yeah. that's that's what makes it a difference like we've been rapping since like I said, he was like, you know, he's been rapping since he was eight. I've been rapping since I was like 10, 11 around that time. So it's always been something that we've been doing forever. But 2015 is like when we decided to actually make it official and take it seriously and really put all the effort and works into it. You feel me? And that's when like a lot of ideas start coming out. A lot of, you know, certain merch, certain songs, you know, things of that nature. Okay, I also see that mentioning levels and lanes now it caught my attention that yeah, bro, bro, like, bro got that on right now. That's your <coughs> first. You know how that go, how yeah. Create? I see a logo. <coughs> how is the logo form? Who came up with the idea of the logo? Yeah, my son, he he an artist. He drew that out. He could draw yeah. and shit. That's what I mean. It's all yeah, across the board, fact. like talent with this <coughs> shit, bro. Yeah, first passion is definitely drawing. So, um, just thinking about like you know different concepts and like logos and understanding like you know people like to like your eyes they see certain things and they feel more comfortable seeing certain things. So when you see double of things, it's more comfortable because you're seeing the same thing twice. So within you know I actually had a um, I had an epiphany. I had a whole like I had a conversation with somebody and that's how I came up with the concept for levels and lanes because it was like you know people are trying to level up too fast and they jump out their lane. And and that's a you feel me that's that's a 
it might hinder your growth if you do it that way. You feel me? Or the road might be a little rockier in the same way. Like people got to stay in their lane. So those two phrases kind of spoke well. And I was like, oh, levels and lanes. And then it works well with the double, the double L situation. That's why when you see the logo, it's levels and then the hand sign and it's lanes. So that's how that came about. So I see you mentioned a lot about the business. So as far as having things copywritten or LLC or business and y'all selling your merch, yeah. how do y'all go about that? Making sure y'all <coughs> y'all invest, y'all get your money back, make sure that nobody can steal y'all steal your ideas. Yeah, we got the LLC and everything copywritten in twenty twenty when the pandemic hit because we sure. had free time to make this shit a legit business. And go about it the right way. Around like the end of twenty twenty, like early twenty twenty one, that's when we start really introducing the merch. Period. Like before that, we was really just focused on the music. So twenty twenty one was the beginning, like stages of the merch. So we was like giving out samples to, we was exclusively giving them to certain people who mattered, like honorary members, just so it could get out there and notoriety. Or just in the honorary member sense that where it's like people just truly support, and that's something we definitely want to focus on. Facts. Um, is along the way giving the people their flowers and their praises. Like a lot of people want to give the artists and you know their flowers, but really it's the people that make the situation happen for you. So we in the beginning we wanted to honor a lot of people in that way. Um, and as far as the business goes, it's like the LLC, like you know that's very important to what people got to do because that's the first level of ownership. So you can have the music and it could be working, but there's a lot of things that you got to own under that. You don't want to be go to a uh, label. <clears throat> and it'd be a starving artist and then they just take everything they own everything you have so at least you can go up there and be like you guys gotta do you gotta partner with me you can't just can't consume everything that i've made take all your ideas and things like that so that's when the llc came and then it just makes sense to go right into the merch because you gotta monetize you know you gotta learn how to monetize basically and that's like one of the first ways to do it and that's just you know since then we've been trying to push it you know let's see what's going on Indeed. i'm black and i don't got merch on today it's crazy <laughs> So with the so with the merchant and things like that, most artists either have people doing that for them. <clears throat> what made you as an artist want to decide to let me put the music to the side for now and let me start working on this merch and the other lanes? Because music became oversaturated. And it's also essentially just a, like music is a marketing tool for whatever main product you have. So Excellent. when you create something that's trending or something that's attracting a lot of attention, <clears throat> you basically want to direct them to something that's going to help you make more money. So I forgot where I was going with that. Um, so that's something y'all can do on your own or y'all, so y'all don't need if somebody wanting to take y'all steps and do it. And do what we did, like step for step. It, it really depend on your situation, like what you able to do at the time, like, cause we ain't do this shit like yesterday, like this shit was a whole plan. Yeah. Like a big part of it too is, <clears throat> my fault, yeah, it's going crazy. Um, a big part of it too is like, actually my man's right here just had to bring that clarity into my mind. Most of the time people got big, um, like big plans to do big things, but it don't be about what you want to do, it be about what you can do. So uh, that'd be my, like, for me, as far as the process, don't get hooked up on having a particular type of vision and you want it to be so particular. Sometimes things going to change, things going to come up, things right. going to be unfortunate. This shit so, is not, everybody say that everybody was, like, overnight success. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. like, yeah. Nobody, nobody just be like, time. I started yesterday. Like, Do nobody what you does can. that. Show me, don't be There's a whole story the behind stuff. that. Like that um, yeah. So does the merch represent your music? Like, how does that go? I represent a lifestyle, bro. Like, the music complement the lifestyle, you right. feel me? Because it's really just how we live and, like, from it's top to bottom. A, <clears throat> you level up in each stage of life, you feel me? And you stay in different lanes until you master them lanes, and then you leave and recreate yourself. Right. Every and then, time. And in, that, in the essence, the merch, it just kind of, like, you know, we just trying to push out quality. So it's like, I, you know, it, it basically represents, like, I right, you got something that is of importance, something that matters. Like, you know, that's why the first pieces of merch that came out, it came to, like, certain people. And that creates a certain type of appreciation quality that people, like, they, 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 they and, fuck with. You and know? the music been correlating with, with the fashion and everything else that we had coming. Like, 2019, we dropped a song called Drip Talk. That's on SoundCloud right now. But if you go back and listen to the song, that's the whole premise of the song is that we was about to come out with, with right, more with shit. all that stuff. And it's not just, like, you know, it don't stop there. It's just music. That's why I meant labeled it entertainment because... 
you know, we could have a, a short film. We could be Levels and Lanes Productions where it's just movies or it's the merch. It's like it's just mo- people just try to put things in a box, and I just wanted to create something that's general enough that it could be for everything. You feel me? It works. But entertainment is involved. Music is always involved. Whether it's a fashion show, whether it's a movie, whether it's a, a TV show, whatever. Yeah, they all always that. add music, and that's why it's entertainment, not just music. Yeah, not just the label. So, um, in the creative aspect of the things, I see that there's two of y'all. I know yeah. it's easier working with one because your ideas are out there. Do y'all yeah. bump heads a lot in the creative process? Like, how does that work? <clears throat> Do both have to agree on one thing, or is it like a... Yeah, when it comes to clothes, yeah. Like, we always come to a mutual ground on what's perfect for yeah, the situation. Yeah. Like Communication is key, facts. respectfully. Like, it's, it's about appreciating what the person has to offer and then not totally negating what they have to say, but actually incorporating what they have to say with what you have. Yeah, because so everybody got points. Like, exactly. I know if he bringing up something, it, like, it's, it's going to bring value to the situation because it's both of our shit. Like, and our then, names is connected. And then sometimes a, an idea, he might have an idea, or I might have an idea that's so good that nobody, you don't even need an input on that. You could just... Like you feel me, you feel comfortable enough that he like you leading the the product to the right way, so yeah, it just be about communication and and, and, and understanding what that person's trying to do because you gotta understand what their vision is. Yeah, you meant like with music too? Yeah, both. Yeah, cause music is regular. Like, like me and this nigga been doing music for me, like forever, ever. Like so, it's like the chemistry with music that shit is easy. Yeah, like, cause sure. you just it's natural energy. Like clothing is like more of. Like it's fashion, so it's like, like what you trends, think is, what exactly. you think is hot, like it go what's in season, like right, all right, of that right, matters, right. like that the conversation stuff. that we be having. And like, all that like you said, everything in house, so it's like whether it's directing the videos, it's me and him, whether it's right. uh creating the concept, whether it's um the merch, whether it's all of that is all like, you know, in house. Ain't ain't nobody's you know, ain't nothing behind it in in that sense, you feel me? That creative sense. I heard him mention earlier that you have um, um, merch for exclusive. Is it out for the public now? Is it available? So, yeah, so that's actually a great question. So, in the beginning, we did that as more of like a marketing tool. Uh, so, in the sense that it's like, it's like I said, it's appreciating people and it's getting the word out there. Um, right now, we, we want to make more general things that's going to be for everybody to wear. So, like those people who got those types of pieces that type of item may not come out maybe until seasons later or may may never come out you're going to make something completely different so that way you once it get to where you got to go that's your that's yours forever like that's a one of one for real and that's kind of like what the whole concept was like one of ones so i can have an nft if i got something now yeah <laughs> nah, that's, that a fact. that's a fact that's a fact so it'd be like that's gonna go up on some for me and uh, how long how long um from the music, did y'all jump into? How long did y'all start doing music on together? Shit, I don't like. I'm gonna keep it start like recording. You. Like, yeah, what like, you mean, like recording? Like 2015, just... like recording. Like we really in the studio, we making music. But prior to that, like, probably like hey, sixth grade. Like 2015 is when we start recording for real. Nah, nah, like, nah again, like, again, it's like 2013. We was in the studio. Stu. We didn't make it official, official until 2015. Yeah, but I'm talking about uh, like consistently. Okay, like yeah, we was I really in the yeah, studio. Sure. Like before that, it's like we go into the studio, but we just went. Like and then you don't go again for another six, seven months. Twenty fifteen, like we was in the studio like every day, like right, every right. day, every day, all right. night, making shit and coming back. So that really built the chemistry to where like But as far as like in general, yeah, nah. We've been doing music, music since though, like middle school, forever, like sixth, seventh grade, you feel me? That, like, that 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 spark when y'all came consistent, what 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 was that because of a song you got there that yeah. y'all seen the or it was just like uh bro we got focus up like how did that when y'all had that moment what was that like 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 it was a time where i stopped rapping like i wasn't really fucking with rap no more like i wasn't i didn't write nothing like a good two three years like i wasn't feeling it like so around that time 2015 when i started rapping again like i came back like and my content changed so I just wasn't rapping about the same shit. And me and him had a song that they didn't even come out. Like, but it was like more female oriented. Like he was on the hook and I was on the verse. 
And then when we made that song, we was like, oh, nah, like, we got some shit now. Like, now it's a thing. Like, right. like chemistry is there. It's cohesive. Like, this is a real song. Like, it's not just us rapping back and forth. Yeah, like, that, and that, after that, that, it start going. You know, because sometimes, you know, even though it's maybe a man's, they don't be, like, clicking with the music. Like, you know, because you might, you might fuck with somebody and know, yeah. like, it's just different. People be going through different shit at different times. Right. People be in different so moods. So it kind of it kind of came with that first one. We actually got a song named but Madonna. You feel yeah, me? that shit and ain't come out. But that shit gonna come out. That's, that's gonna come out at the time. We, we gonna drop that dog. Like, like, we right still got it. Like, that shit fine. But, um, yeah, once you made that first song, it was like, nah, this is... It's a vibe, like it's hitting. You feel me? And and really, this, this is a lot of the stuff that we do. Just be complimenting one or, or the other. And, and, and like I said, like Facts. just and having. We get yeah. older, like right. so. As we grown with the music, this is my means. So I'm around them. So it's like now it's like versus back then. Like we still trying to figure out like our own flows and our own right, right. like ways of making music. Like now it's like okay, I know the type of music he like. He know the type of pockets I like. He know the type of beats to go with my voice. I know the type of you know. And after that, it just make it easier to make music back to back to back versus we still learning ourselves. Right, Feel right, me? Right. Now it's like we in pocket. What what do y'all um y'all both us answer separately? But yeah. what do you feel changed about your music from? Let's say maybe 15, 2015 to now. That's like any change. Experience, life, that's about it. Growth, that's about it. Like, cause I still, like I still could rap the same. Like as far as like the raw talent is just the skill. I mean, when my content is different, like I'm not talking about the same shit that I was talking about. Like when I was younger, I was talking about a whole bunch of miscellaneous shit that didn't matter. Now it's like I found my voice. Like I right. know, I know what the fuck I'm talking about out here. If you know, you know. Um, piggyback over what he said for sure. That um, for me personally, um, just the, it's a crap. So it's like when you work at something every day, you got you're gonna get better at it eventually. So basically, for me, the the technique level kind of just came into play because I was just putting the work in every night, you know, writing two or three songs or making just show. Even if I ain't even like a beat, I'll write five bars to it, forget about it, but I just consistently kept going. So as far as what changes, now I got like full songs. Now I got structure. Now I got bridges, you feel me? So just working on the craft like that, that's kind of changed for me, the technique of it all. And what type of music y'all consider that y'all make? Like y'all would to say? Like a genre or like, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna was- lie. I just make rap music. Well, I could do a lot of shit now. Like I grew into that. Like you, like the melodic records, the pop records, all type of different like genres of music. But like, like predominant, I do I rap, bro. Like I be making rap shit. Like you feel me? that's my favorite kind of music. Like, but outside of that, like the melodic shit, like I do all of that. Like I mastered that shit too. Um, like definitely, uh, I got. I feel like we could do it all respectfully. It, Word, it's really, right. it's really. Uh, not, not even to be in that particular light, but just like as far as the hard work that put, that we put in to study the craft and understand what's really done and what's done well, I feel like we could do it all. We got something for everybody. It's not really just one particular thing, but you know, we from the Bronx and you know the, the rapping is forever at heart. Like you feel yeah, me, we're always gonna appreciate real bars and, and, and things of that nature. But we want to be just more than just you know, rapping. You feel me? Because there's music, there's music that's out there right now. Cause like. To piggyback with what he said, like, I stopped trying to be nice with rapping a long time ago. Like, as far as just, like, having bars and punchlines and being technical and having different, like, rap patterns and cadences and flows and shit. And so I put that down for a long time and then start making other type of music as far as my cadences, my flows, my voice tone, all of that. Like, so it's like, rapping, rapping is still my first natural, like, way of making music, like, but now it's like I mastered the other lanes. Like, that'll go back. Like, it'll all go full circle in, in the, the name of the brand. Like, yeah, gang, it's two minutes. It's two minutes. Um, I heard, I heard um, you mentioned you're from the Bronx. In the Bronx right now, they're highlighting um, drill music. So how do y'all feel about drill music right now? There have been drill music. This is not the first time that people ever heard the drill music. They just categorizing it like that and amplifying it like that so it could be something that is not. This music been going on since N.W.A. and everybody else from the 1980s. It's just a different vibe it's right just, now. It's just a different, it's just a different decade. Yeah. What, what, what does drill music to you? What does drill music mean to you? Um, drill music is just, it's your content. Like, it's what you're talking about. You're talking about a particular lifestyle. Like, 
and that's about it. For, for me personally, I think that the beats, like when I hear a certain type of drum kit, I just be like, oh, that's a drill beat. Like, that's really how I feel about I that. I feel like that too. Like, like, because the sound, like, it became a thing with yeah, Chicago. It, like, everybody know the, that. Like, I'm judging it on the sound level. Like, it's yeah, sound like, fire, it sound hot. Like, it's using samples. Because, you know, it's much, it's more just than what people trying to make it out. Yeah, because on the overall scale, it been drill music. Like if that been a thing. If that if, if if it's just talking about violence on the track, it been drill music. This is not the first time in music where violence was like the the thing to talk about. Like this is not the first time. Now it's just being amplified because how many people are are capitalizing and making money and getting hot and like really prospering off of this this type of shit. Like because the. You feel me? Hit him up was a drill song. Many men was a drill song. Fuck the police was a drill song. Like, it's however they want to label it. You, know? you feel me? They gonna categorize it. How they gonna categorize it? Uh, how do y'all feel about um, them using people lyrics against them and the court of law and things like that? Can't jack that. I mean, it's like the the, the like people gotta understand if you really think about hip hop, like it started from like. You know, people being oppressed, like people not having enough, people going through struggling times. So it's a reflection of what's actually going on in our neighborhoods and in our, our, our cities. So it's just like, where did that line get blurred where now you could convict people for, for you know, for the things that we being actually oppre- like uh, subjected to type shit? You feel Since me? the beginning of time, rap has always been the reporters, like the artists, anybody who made music that was from the inner cities of anywhere. Like, so Nas was the reporter in 1991. Fucking uh, Kumo cool D, whoever they was the they they was the reporters talking about what was actively going on because we not talking about the same shit that they was talking about well, back then. But it's on still the flip crime. side of that coin, I also you feel me, you gotta be um, responsible. You feel me, you gotta be held accountable for certain shit. So just know that you gotta clean your shit up. Like you gotta just do more than just right. one type of thing. You feel me? There's other things to talk about. People feel different feelings. You know things of that nature. So make sure that you being responsible with your with your craft. You know what I'm trying to you say. You don't need and to I, talk about nothing that you don't want to talk about. Everything is not for the internet. So, and y'all process of creative music. Where 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 do y'all inspire from? Where do y'all pull y'all inspiration from? Um, now I just pull inspiration from like my my real life experience, and occasionally like from from like other artists like and like yeah, occasionally from other artists. But for the most part, like just my life and like my bro's life and the shit that's really going on like uh, around me like the stages that I'm in my, my mental like how I'm feeling like it's, it's not really about nobody else like it's really therapeutic like what's going on with me yeah same here uh, for sure I mean as far as taking like you know I, I take being that art was like my first passion I got a like you know a lot of different I take from a lot of different vibes and different like categories of art so it just don't be just music it be about you know, actual artists, fine artists, and, and things like that. Just be inspired by a lot of stuff, and then also, like you said, it is a little um like experience and things that you've been through and things of that nature. You know, a lot of reflective talk. You know, that type of stuff. All right. So I know we all like to have our, be unique and have our own style. But yeah. for the people who never heard your music, if you had someone to compare your style to, yeah, who would y'all think? Who would y'all consider? I feel like I'm on some gumbo pot shit, like. A mixture of like four or five people, like like you got like Jada Kiss, you got Lil Wayne, you got Fifty, you got uh, like yeah, them three though, like them three it was like I I kind of imitated a lot of their patterns, a lot of their cadences when I was younger, like just starting. Yeah, they had the most heavy like. So it's like I go in all of their pockets. Like every type of pocket them niggas could go into, like I dare go into every pocket. When Wayne starts singing, I'll be doing shit like that. When fucking Jada Kids just ripping the shit, I do shit like that. Like I feel like on a on a come up, there was like a lot of people I was inspired by, like, you know, and, and just in general, um, Big Pun, like, you know, like from different eras. So it's just like, you know, Big Pun definitely like the, the rapping, rapping kind of stuff, um definitely inspired by um who else? There's a lot of people. Definitely Fifty with the melodies. Um, who else? I mean, a lot. I, took, I, I really, I really like took from a lot in the sense of inspiration wise goes. So I, I can't really say specifically who, 
but I could definitely say more or less on what yeah. ranges of music I didn't took from. You feel me? That's a lot of trap soul, occasion. a lot of trap soul. It's something like it's a little bit of everything because when you uh, like basically with all the music that we don't grow up through, like it's a lot of different ranges of music. You got Future, you yeah. got Drake, Future. You know, you My got, fault. You got yeah, the Kendrick, I had a lot of shit. Like, you got Kendrick, future. you got J Cole, you got a lot of different people, and it's like me. I, I'm good at like taking the like the, the best out of what I think I see. And, and just kind of incorporating in my own manner type of situation. So it'd just be a lot to say. I couldn't pinpoint on one or two, but it's like errors, you know? Facts. So, um, is there any artist up and coming or in the industry now that y'all would like to work with or y'all sound? You could hear y'all on a song with them that yeah. y'all know will go crazy? In the industry? Damn, uh, who I like? I want to do some shit with Young Blue. I want to do some shit with um. I want to do shit with Coyle Ray. I want to do shit with um. Who else? Who else? I like. like I like different sound and shit. Like with Young Blue, what lane? What lane would you go in with him? How like, would you approach that? What type of record would you want to? Honestly, make it depend on on the vibe that niggas got in the studio. Like, cause I feel like with him, you can either. You can either play the rapper role where you rapping and he's the R and B dude, or you could play the I go melodic too, and then y'all make a banger where it's just two niggas singing at different times, like as far as harmonizing and stuff like that, like, cause you got songs where it's like now, like it's no now it's like the lines is blurred with genres, like so somebody could be singing the whole song, but because the type of beat it is, they gonna call it hip hop. So you could you could do a lot of different shit with Blue. Facts. Um. Definitely jacking my son Lil Wayne. I need the Lil Wayne, the Lil Wayne verse. Um, that's definitely top of the list for sure. That'd be like a, you know. Um, definitely like, a, I like Roddy Rich sound, you feel me? I like Lil, 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 Lil Dirk sound. Um, what approach will you take with Wayne? You get that feature. Oh, now we're going to get into that heavy rapping back. So something about me, like, you feel me? I never really, you know, put to the forefront of my, my uh, situations that I really, for me, I can really rap. Like, I really get to it as far as, like, you know, wordplay and, and all that kind of stuff, which is a little unexpected, you know, maybe, but for me, but definitely I get into that bag. So I'll go straight rapping back with him all the way live from the 504 type flow, like, you know, that type of vibe. Upgrade you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which I prefer in studio together or he can send you a record y'all can send a record so I, I mean it's, nah I'm jacking being in the studio just because I know like for me like I'm a rapper's rapper so I be competitive with this shit like I wanna be in front of the nigga I'm like I'm gonna cook you on this shit like cause it's like it's like the NBA of this shit like if, if I get to do a song with Lil Wayne or Fabulous these people that's established and been doing this shit forever I'm gonna go in there and really like oh I right, I'm playing fucking AI or Chauncey Billups or one of these niggas and drop 40 in there like. I guess I, I guess in that way you feel me I'm a little more traditional cause I, I mean I understand that given how you know People's schedule will be set up and all that. Like, you know, you might not be able to pull up and do a session, but like, I feel like that'd be yeah, I gotta be um, in the studio. A vibe that, are, like, you feel me? Because things, like, you might have stuff recorded, but when you're in a vibe with somebody in the stool, like, certain things just come out differently, some di different type of vibes. You ain't think about saying something, then you just add it right there, kind of situation, because it's a vibe. And it just be like, definitely wanna do it. Like, yeah, it's a different vibe person, in the studio. Like, being with people chill. is way different from sending it. But like I said, you feel me? Send the verse. It is what it right. is. If he said that though, you feel me? He's still jacking it. You can send that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that ass thing. Send that way. I understand. What are you talking about? All right. So we speaking about in studio. Y'all mm -hmm. can um, give me like three things y'all must have in the studio with y'all. Uh, we. The za. You got to have the za in the, in the water, studio. Water. You feel me? Uh. Water or tea, whatever you prefer, like something, like something, keep yourself Like, don't be wrong, don't get me wrong, have your little liquor, you know, have your little weed, you know what I'm trying to say, but understand that when you in the booth, like... That I, when you the artist, like, yeah, if, your, if your man's here on rap, you know? nah, they hold all the extra shit, you Although, feel me? You, you gotta have your little kit. Cause you gonna sound raspy and stupid when you in the booth. Maybe you have, like, a little snack or two, you know what I'm trying to say, stuff like but, that. <laughs> yeah, but most of we weed and water for them, you know what I'm saying, like... That's the most, that's the best too. I can't think of the third one for real. That's that important. Like, yeah, we water, liquor, and a snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I got the book with her. I got the book with me. <laughs> that's my son be having the book. I hope you have it. We nothing. write these shits. All the songs you hear when we write them. All right, so um, 
being that this is Breaking Records Podcast and we're about yeah. to get out of here, do you have a little snippet of something unreleased, something y'all want to say live, something y'all can um, get to the people before yeah. you go? I could play a snippet of some shit. Like, nah, definitely, as far as... I definitely, trust me, all that's going to drop in the, in the soon, but really we want to announce the fact that we got this little limited edition Levels and Lanes uh, short set that we're going to come out with. Facts. Mm-hmm. T-shirt so, and short set coming soon. You know, all of that. Summer the, collection, we 2022. Got the, um, the website coming up soon. We're going to have everything in store for it to be available. Clothing there, will be coming to Shopify real, real soon. Those who were promised what they were promised will receive what they will receive, but this year is definitely up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. You feel me? We definitely going to have that sent you. You feel me? We here with it. Yeah, this is exclusive on Breaking Breakers podcast. Young Donatello, Granite coming soon, you heard. I love kids dangerous. Oh my god. Baby, tell me who you love. Who you trust. Who you really want to fuck on a late night. Switch it closer to fuck is you linking. Better not be another nigga, cause I can get another nigga buried. Do you need attention like Aisha Curry? Let me know, bitch. Let me fucking know if you need attention like Aisha, cause we don't want you if you do. Uh, 50. So, That's all they get at that though. You feel me? Max. Word. Alright, uh, y'all can sign out. I don't know where to find y'all. Yeah, y'all can find me at, at Donatello on Instagram, period, underscore, and the real Donatello on TikTok with three with three L's, and uh, Tello TV on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, Levels and Lanes YouTube, definitely tune into that. Got the page, everything going up there first. Uh, Diablo, you can find me on Say Less, regular S A Y L E S S. Um, yeah, I'm trying to you know, thank out to Bro Life, you know, for definitely having, having us here, opportunity, you know? you know, definitely letting letting us on his platform and, and being able to do our shit. I appreciate you. We're okay. gonna do a part two. Appreciate that.